Have you explored dynamic content and other real-time marketing strategies yet? Every sales team and content creator knows that personalization in sales and marketing emails is huge. But you also know how big of a lift personalization can be once you're in the depths of your own marketing automation software. Segmenting out customers and creating different lists can be incredibly time consuming. And that doesn't even include setting up the 10, 20, 30 different email variations. Microsoft Dynamics 365 Marketing recently released the ability to implement conditional content blocks in real-time marketing emails. This new feature allows organizations to deliver hyper-personal content to customers with a relatively low lift. Today, I'm gonna to show you why our product team is super excited about this new feature. Before I dive into the conditional content functionality, I just want to quickly orient ourselves. So right now, we're looking at the real-time marketing email designer in Dynamics 365 Marketing. The drag-and-drop designer makes it easy for marketers to create high-quality emails without needing to know HTML. You can even embed different call-to-action buttons to make it incredibly easy for people to take action. You've been able to personalize emails with information from contacts, leads, accounts, etc. for a while, but Microsoft just released the ability to conditionally display entire sections of content based on previous activity, demographic information, etc. So let's walk through how easy this is to do. All you need to do is open up a blank email template, select the section that you want to conditionally display, and click Enable Conditional Content. You see we have a default option, but you can also add different conditions that will create different variations by clicking New Condition. When I click New Condition, I will be prompted to name it. Then I can select one of two options for the condition logic. If the logic is something easy, like the contact lives in New York, then I can select Make Condition on Attribute. I will then be prompted to choose if the target is a lead or a contact, and then choose which fields I want to base my logic on. However, if my conditional logic is more complex, I can create logic based on a segment. The segmenting tool in Dynamics 365 Marketing is extremely robust. This is what you use if you are trying to pull information from a bunch of different entities. For example, if I wanted to send a section just to the primary contact for all accounts that have contacts registered for a certain event, this is what I would use. This is also what I would use if I wanted to only show a certain section to contacts who have visited a particular website page recently. I know this seems sort of complicated, but Dynamics has a bunch of different segment templates to get you started. I love how Microsoft hasn't sacrificed usability for flexibility. If you don't need to use a more complicated logic, you don't even have to open the screen. Once you've saved your conditions, you can start creating the different variations by selecting the variation you want to edit. I've fleshed out an example so you can see this in action. You can see I have a default version for contacts that don't meet any of the conditions, aka people who don't live in an area with an active user group. In this default version, I have a link to a form where I can collect information for people who are interested in participating in a user group. But when I switch to the New York variation, I see a different message with a different CTA that prompts people to RSVP for the New York group meetup. And then I've also got a different one for the DC, Northern Virginia area. Once your email is set up, you then bring it all together with the customer journey. To set up a journey, you will first need the audience. We briefly touched on segments above, but just to reiterate, the D365 marketing segmentation tool is super powerful. You can segment contacts based on complex relationships to other information in the system, behavioral information, etc. You can see here my segment is just looking for primary contacts of active accounts. Once you've defined your audience, you just need to choose the email, text message, etc. that you want to send out. You can outline multiple steps and then branch on the results of those steps, but we're going to keep it easy for now and just send an email. We will show the analytics specific to the variations in a bit, but I love how Microsoft has made it super easy to quickly define the overarching goal of the journey right within the designer. Setting the goal of the journey will prompt you to set the criteria of the goal and the KPI itself. For example, once I set the goal of the journey as send a general notification, I'll see these two new fields. This goal is met when, and the number of people needed is. Because the goal is to get people to attend a group meetup, or say they're interested in a user group, let's select the a person clicked on at least one link option. Then let's say we want to at least 15% of the people to click on the link. However, if the goal of the journey was to drive a purchase, we would see different options for the this goal is met when field. 
It would instead prompt us to select when an event registration was created, when an opportunity was created, etc. But let's just stick with our email clicked criteria for now. Once you publish the journey, you're all set. You will be able to see real-time analytics as your journey begins to process. You will see everyone who received the email, which variation they received, and any delivery issues all in one spot. Using different variations of the same email for different groups of people saves time because you don't have to set up each email individually, but also makes things easier from an analytics standpoint. If I switch over to the variations tab, I can easily see the unique open rate and the unique click rate for the New York variation and the DC Arlington variation. This engagement data is extremely valuable. If my New York group is highly engaged, that's probably a good indicator they're happy with the product and they're getting a lot out of it meaning this group is at a small risk of not renewing their contract when it's up. I may even work to put together a focus group to test out new features using some of these people. However, if my DC Arlington group seems really disengaged, this is probably a bad sign. I might reach out to their account managers to see if there's anything we can do to help them get the most out of the product. I hope you can see how Dynamics 365 Marketing can save your team time and make it even easier to pick out important insights from your marketing efforts. These tools are built to tackle any scenario, from sending out a quick email blast to building extremely targeted, multi-layered marketing campaigns. Our team at Cobalt is amazing at helping organizations maximize the Dynamics 365 platform. There's so much more you can do when you combine this conditional content feature with the rest of the Dynamics 365 platform. Click the links in the description below to learn more or schedule a custom product showcase for your team today.